Okay, first of all, I have to ask you about the bat kid thing you guys did, because yeah. I thought that was so cute. When that was happening, I mean, I didn't know it was happening, and I go on Twitter that day, and my heart was just like, like, was his wish to be Batman? Yeah. Freaking brilliant, right? Uh, and he's so cute. Um, the video was just, just like a really fun idea that Stephen had. He was like, we have to do this. And when we have time, like, we should do more videos on set, because like, <laughs> it literally takes us like 30 seconds. We just grab someone who's, you know, everyone on set knows how to handle a camera. Give somebody an iPhone, which is fantastic. And then we just do a little sketch. Oh. But, man, that kid, like, stole my heart. They're so cute. I mean, he's trying not to, you know, he's catching robbers, but he's stealing my heart. I'm like, are you good? Are you bad? <laughs> so cute. Yeah, it was, that was amazing. I would love to see a Bat Kid cameo. Wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> Maybe for season no. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. But, yeah, yeah, that could end up being a scary thing. Okay, so we definitely should talk about the moment you and, well, you, Felicity and Oliver had at the end of the last episode. Uh, yeah. It's definitely. She's a, in the blanket, I guess. Yes. Uh, it was very, very sweet. And of course, fans went crazy on Twitter. Yeah, I'm, I didn't even know they were getting the shot of the hand when we did it. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, tricky. When did they get that? <laughs> um, that was a really sweet sweet day of filming too it was just like we were all really dropped in and and that that moment I think meant it, it just meant a lot to her it just meant like she had to apologize and she had to sort of you know she needed to voice she needed to say something because she felt so kind of guilty you know for making him don't do it for me and then he does and it's just like you saved me again like, what am I ever going to do without you? It's like that. Uh, it was really cool. And also, I mean, Felicity's getting into some pretty hairy situations. So as it, as it goes on, I mean, are we going to see more of that? Yes. I mean, she... Starling City is not safe for anyone. <laughs> it doesn't seem I like mean, a safe place to live. how many villains can you have in one city? I mean, Starling City has to be pretty big, right? Right. Um, or it's just like a war torn city. Um, she gets into more trouble, more action. I mean, the show... The show continues at this pace and gets it just gets more rapid and heart, heart racing. So you guys have nothing to worry about <laughs> besides maybe you know having an oxygen check on handy. Um, yeah, we'll see more. We'll see more. She's fun. Well, I did watch the 30 second preview, which I'm going to run under this interview um, the, for the for the scientist. Barry, Barry Allen. Yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about Barry Allen, because um, I know that Felicity says, I know somebody who can help. Right. So does she have a backstory with him, or is this something that happens at the beginning of the episode? Um, we, she has no backstory with him, but we do need his help, and she knows someone who can help. Barry, Barry Allen. <laughs> <laughs> I like, really, you don't need to watch the trailer now, because that's all of it. Um, <laughs> It was really funny because I was watching, um, I was like switching back from CW and Keen Peel on Wednesday, and yeah. I just like switch, and all of a sudden it's just like Grant's face, and it's like Barry. Like, I was like, what is going on? Because I, like, I hadn't seen the trailer yet. I was like, what is this? Well, we do need to watch the trailer because there's a couple of interesting little tidbits in there, like his big board about. So, we know people who know the comics know stuff about his mom and all of that. Is that the? Is that what he's investigating? Um, what Barry has. Yeah. Barry... Barry is bringing a new... You know, when it comes to another comic book character into the show, you have to bring in that backstory. And it, it is Barry in Starling City. So you taking that into consideration, you know, smart guy, why is he in Starling City? What went wrong that now Barry Allen is in Starling City? That's a little... Thought. Nice, nice. Okay, now I hear there are some sparks between Barry and Felicity. Yeah, there's a little bit of flashy sparks in there. Ooh, okay. So tell me about some flashy sparks. Um, they're both really, really smart. They're, I mean, they're IQ, IQ genius, right? They're both scoring, scoring way above me. Um, <laughs> and that, I just, I think intellect is really sexy, and I think Felicity totally agrees. Maybe that's one thing we have in common. And she's just like. I think he comes in and she sort of tilts her head a little bit and goes, who are you? I'm like, why? <laughs> we need to meet more often. But it's sort of like that, like, intrigue. Yeah. And that intrigue is, that is rare. Like, that intrigue doesn't happen that often. I mean, for me, guys, I mean, like, <laughs> like I don't, I, it, I think 
think it takes a lot to intrigue Felicity. Well, it was really cute in the last episode where she's like, what do I have to do to impress you guys? Yeah, it's like, what, are you guys, you guys don't know that this is, you guys can't do this? You guys can't do this, right? Just checking. Why am I here? Well, you know, it's funny. We did find out two things in the last episode about Felicity. We found out that she does not like needles. And we found out that she gets people out of parking tickets. Uh-huh. I have something to talk to Felicity about after this. Well, but... Me too. The first time I was ever here in L.A. and I had a car, five tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you guys are Because <laughs> it's terrible. It's just like, there's like four different signs. You like think you did it right. You check them. And you're like, yeah, I did this. And then you're like, I don't want to park a ticket. On yeah. Tuesdays, you're not allowed to park here from like 7 till 7.30 in the morning. It's like, what? I know. Are you kidding me? I know. But, well, I'm curious about what other stuff we're going to see from Felicity. Because, I mean, it's we haven't had a lot of backstory. We know a couple no. little things, and it's sort of coming out in drips and drabs. And so everybody on Twitter was asking... Are we going to get a Felicity-centric episode? Whether stuff we're going to find out? I, I think, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not told big chunks about what happens in the next episodes to come. It's really just living like, you know, if we're on episode 12, it's like 13 gets dribbled in at the last moment and then we get to grasp onto that. Um, I think there is, I mean, there's been talk on the Twitterverse about her mom coming on. Um, we're going to definitely learn more about her. I think, I think there's a few, I've heard like a few lines that are going to be coming out. Um, which talk talk about more where she came from and that sort of thing. And I, but I don't know how in depth that is. But I think anything at this point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I personally really like. I swear, I want it more than you. Like, I really, I've been <laughs> I've been digging for it. I've been complaining. <laughs> I just really want to know more about her in a selfish way. Well, okay. So I have to ask you, dream casting for Felicity's parents. If you can, if you could pick anyone. No, I don't. I mean, like, I've thought about, I've tried to think about it, and I honestly, like, I, maybe it's just because I'm not, I don't know, I, I really don't know. That's why I answered somebody on Twitter the other day being like, I'm really going to have to think about it, do you have suggestions? And there were some really good suggestions that came out. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I really, I mean, I want, I want, like, a, someone really, really smart, and probably, like, really put together because Lucy's so dorky like I'd love to see her mom or something just be like you know yeah. and you're just like okay where'd you come from <laughs> right. um, I want to see what they'll do though I mean that's up to the writers well, you know, what's interesting is there was an article that was just out about the lack of female friendships and female buddies on TV. Yeah. So would you like to see somebody from Felicity's past, yes. an actual girlfriend, come in? I, I think I tweeted that actually yesterday. I was like, I want to meet one of Felicity's friends. Yeah. Or have her meet someone that becomes a friend. Yeah. Because she needs a girlfriend. Like, yep. I think, I think like, who would be a really cool friend for her to have is um, Kate Lass, but because I like working with Kate Lass. She... It's so dorky, and like we get along so well because it's just like we're just really dumb. Both of us are just really dumb. Well, that's pretty. That would actually be really cool. I mean, it's it's nice to see the female friendships on TV, and it'd be interesting yeah. to see if she ends up dealing with Thea or yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, I I mean there is a lack of female friendships on TV. There's a lack of you know female parts for TV and film, no matter what script you read, and it's getting better. I mean. Um, there are female-centric shows like Girls or, you know, Bridesmaids. Yeah. Which is, I mean, like, just throw those two out there. Comedies. Um, Scandal's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of great, strong women on that show. And, I mean, we have really, really strong women on our show, too. And it's, I, I think it's important. It's important to have smart female intellectuals on in, in entertainment that you want to watch. Yeah. Well, actually, um, I've done a bunch of interviews, and I keep hearing about having women in the writer's room and how cool that is, and so you think that really affects the... Oh, yeah, I think it affects. And, I mean, not that one writer does... <laughs> they all bring something different to the table, I'm sure. And um, I love the women in the writer's room. I love the guys, too. The women are funny, though. They're like... And they're, they're smart. They know something about a world that I don't know anything about or didn't know anything about. Um comics. I didn't. And now I'm I got a bookcase specifically for my comic books. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm not kidding. That's so fantastic. There's like a shelf of like just comics and I was like, yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so what are you reading? Um, I just went through, I was just talking to Suzanne, we were talking about the Aquaman one. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was really good. Jeff Johnson. It was so good. Um, I got some new Green Arrow comics. I did the Trial of the Flash. Um, I have a bunch of Flash comics. What else? I 
got these, um, actually I got this book, which isn't, it's not DC, it's not Marvel, it's, um, it's 1950s comics, and there's a lot of women in the comics, it's really, it's quite interesting, it's like, a, it's like, it's a specialty book, I think, yeah, um, I'll take a picture and tweet it, because it's really cool, I was in Golden Apple with nice. Colton, we like to go in there every once in a while and like, stock up, yeah, um, so yeah, that was, I'll take a photo and send it. It's a really, really interesting book, and the intro is really cool. Like, it's like there's probably like four sentences, not even of like telling you like um, how these you know, monsters and disastrous things are about to happen, and you're just like, oh my god! And I'm like, oh, this is like, it's like four lines. I'm like, oh, I'm dropped out of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so what other cast members would you like to work with more? I mean, Moira's back, and uh, yes. so Susanna. yeah, I work with Susanna. Um, I think we're going to get to too. She's she is so intelligent. Uh, I'm really yeah, really excited for her. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to work with Colton. Because <laughs> yeah. he we're like best friends. <laughs> Whenever because we're on set together, he made me crack up actually in the middle of the take. There's I told so, I think I was telling who was I telling this yesterday? I think I was telling Jarrett. I was like, there is a take that won't get used, but I hope it's because of the bloopers, of like, total, like, in the scene, but tears just pouring out of my eyes, not in a sad scene, it's like a happy scene, because I had just had a laugh attack, and there's literally, and I'm trying, I'm trying to be so straight-faced, and it's just like, like, right there, so that happens quite often, especially when I'm a Colton, well, I was actually going to ask you who makes you crack up the most on set, but apparently, Colton, oh yeah, there's, there's no doubt about it, I mean, not even on set, just in general, we're always laughing. That's awesome. Okay, so if Arrow ends up being part of a Justice League movie, mm. how would you feel about Felicity being part of a Justice League movie? Um, I mean, I feel great. <laughs> it would be really cool. Um, I don't know if I don't know if it could work. like it's not it's not my storyline, but um, I mean, hey guys, I'm game. <laughs> Put me in. Just do it. The day. That's all that question I'll was about. Really fun. Plug it. <laughs> <laughs> I and promise to make it fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. And I know you have um, Katrina Law, who just joined the cast yes. from Spartacus, which yes. is really Sorry, cool. Sorry, I just went, what? Yeah. yeah, I haven't met her yet. Oh, she's very cool. Yeah. So I think Wonder Woman. <laughs> Not obviously in the show, but... Uh-huh. Mm. I could totally, I could totally get that. Right. <laughs> well, I'm being wrapped up, so tell me anything you can tease about the, next, the season, mid-season finale. Mid-season finale. There's a lot of sparks, guys. <laughs> There's a lot of sparks. I mean, I think, I think the fans will really enjoy the very Felicity attraction. And, I mean, Arrow just freaking kills it. Tickles well, that- are, are it, too. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank Bye, you. <laughs> thank you.